So to make today's image, we're going to be using Flux Dev on Replicate.com. So I'm going to just go down and start with the settings first, just because I know I need to change a couple of these things. So the output quality, actually, not as default, that's set to 80. I like to change it to between 90 and 100 because I really do feel like it does make a difference. That's only relevant if you're using WebP or JPEG. So go up now. I'm going to ignore the seed, the guidance number. Now this one, I actually had to experiment with quite, with quite a bit and I ended up at around two because anything much more than that was giving me results that are a little bit too, too exaggerated, too cartoonish especially with the elements of the prompt that I'm going to show you in the min in a minute. So the number of inference steps, I'm going to leave that 28. Outputs, so I'm going to put to four so we get some nice variety to show you. Prompt strength, not relevant because I'm not using an image reference. Aspect ratio, I'm going to do three by two, but that's just completely subjective. And the prompt we're going to use is this. Now I'm going to paste it in, um, but I'm also going to read it out. Futuristic fashion model with short pixie cut blonde hair wearing a holographic metallic suit with glowing eye goggles, light blooms and anamorphic lens flares in a well-lit environment. 